A helicopter over Elliott Bay, a ferry boat crossing the sound, nothing out of the ordinary for a sunny Seattle day. Seattle. Except when they become part of a scene for the hit TV show, Grey's Anatomy. It's nice to get up here and reconnect the show to, to its Seattle roots. Despite Seattle being home of Seattle Grace, now Grace Sloan Memorial, few actors on the show have ever actually stepped foot in the city during its 13 year run. I mean, I've been on the show now for nine years and I've never been to the city that this show is set. We haven't uh, been here in, I think, 12 years, so it's great to be back. It definitely is an important character to the show, the city. Several actors made the trek to the Emerald City to shoot scenes for the show's upcoming 14th season, which will include episode 300. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> The Seattle shoot lasted only a few days, but it gave the actors a welcome break from being stuck in the studio back in L.A. We were shooting on um, the Fremont Bridge. I mean, we had some some very cool fans that were out there that, you know, just were happened to be walking across the bridge and there we were. <laughs> so as a performer, as an actor, somebody trying to communicate a story, it's always helpful um, to be in the, in the most realistic environment that you possibly can. So that means getting out of the scrubs into some human clothes and, and moving around and having real kind of interactions with people and being outside in the elements, it, it adds a sense of realism to it, I think. The scenes took the crew to the Fremont Bridge, Gasworks Park, yeah. Cary Park, yeah. along the waterfront, and of course, on a ferry. Uh, Ellen Pompeo was on that ferry, looking beautiful in the sunlight, and that helicopter was trying to capture the majesty of all of Seattle in Ellen Pompeo. While none of the Seattle scenes will appear in the season premiere, they will be scattered throughout the rest of the episodes leading up to episode eight's mid-season finale. They're making up stuff on the spot. They're just like, well, let's shoot this and we'll We'll find a spot to get it in. Kevin McKidd is on double duty, acting and directing while in Seattle. I'm starting to really feel like I've found my feet as a director. Um, and it's been such a great training ground for me. Also returning to the director's chair, Debbie Allen, who, despite the chaos of coordinating a helicopter shooting aerials of Ellen Pompeo's Meredith Grey, still had time to hang with the fans. And many of the Grey's actors have stepped behind the camera. Chandra Wilson will direct her 17th and 18th episodes in the coming season. Visually, um, it just expands my mind as far as uh, how how to get the audience to see a story. Because you can shoot any old kind of way you want to, basically, but it's up to you as a director to decide what you want them to see. And so that decision making is really interesting for me and to see it uh, come together in the editing room and say, yeah, yeah, that is what I wanted them to feel. That's what I wanted them to see. Um, that's what's really exciting. The show, known for its twists, turns, and disasters, ended season 13 with an explosive fire and the reveal that the sister of Kevin McKidd's character Owen was still alive and not killed in action. I, honestly, I wasn't surprised because um, the dynamic between Owen and his sister was so interesting and so fun to play. I think this and this bombshell in the middle of Owen's life is really going to make him reassess a lot of things but kind of globally in his life, including his marriage. So I think that'll be really interesting. Fans have very strong feelings about the relationships on Grey's, including Japril, made up of Jesse Williams' character Jackson, and Sarah Drew's April. I just really love working with her. I really trust her. She's a tremendous act actress and, and person, and uh, we're really great at listening to each other and, and really honing and developing these characters and their dynamic. Uh, so that's something we, we take a lot of pride in and have had a long runway to do that. But Jackson's next romance could be with Kelly McReary's character, Maggie. They seem to be toying with where that could go, and that's really fun because Kelly McCreary is a tremendous person, never mind a tremendous actress. Uh, and we got to really hit it off towards the end of last year as we got to spend more time working together, and so I, I'm really excited to be able to to be able to explore that. Some fans are also wondering if original characters Kara and Meredith will move beyond friendship. Ellen's great to work off of. There's, there's great chemistry there. I like that there's a sort of a sibling, you know, well, love for each other and people you know project and see what they want to see and um, Shonda that's all in Shonda's head and it'll go where it goes and anything's possible you know as an actor my job is to sort of fly with what's written and sort of justify it in my own mind and 
can, I can do that. The relationship between Ben and Bailey has also created a special friendship between Chandra and Jason. Bailey and Ben come from the place of, it, it's just a given that they're going to be together. That's just all there's to it. Chandra Wilson and I have so much fun playing Ben and Bailey. You know, we just fall into this rhythm and it's great fun and we just give each other crap, which we do in real life too. I just tease her mercilessly like she was, yeah, my Speaking sister or something. And we got to see some of that firsthand. And it'll find its way. What are you doing? You know, Everything she just said, that's not You're really not true. getting your check not, from me. What she just said is not true. Wait, I don't I'm know what. Saying. What lies Nobody and misinformation she's telling you people. To be but all up in not really my true. Interest. The cast isn't sharing much about what season 14 will bring. You have no idea what's going to happen next episode when we come to these read throughs and the surprises, and um, it, it, keeps, it keeps you on your feet, you know? Tippy toes. But we do know the action starts right up where the last season ended. Bailey is leading efforts to clean up the damaged hospital. An early episode will flash back to Owen, his sister, and Nathan in Iraq. And some let slip that the table read for the season premiere brought a lot of laughter. That's kind of always the case with us. No matter how serious something is, you have to find the human humor in it. Otherwise, you know, how are you going to get through anything? So that's what the new season feels like. It feels like this is very sort of positive, upbeat, uplifting um, theme for this new season. And nearly 300 episodes in, there's a reason these actors and their fans keep coming back. The number one reason is I continually enjoy Miranda Bailey. She never seems to amaze me. She never disappoints me. I still don't know what's going to come out of her mouth yet next and uh and that's what's really exciting it's the relationships for me it's all about the relationships on camera and even off camera so as long as i can be satisfied creatively and still feel alive and still feel vibrant it's great to have a home base i'm, I'm tremendously grateful for it